Hey everyone, and welcome to the bio research facility. Um, I've not practiced this level, um, I'm going to be honest there. But um, I know what to do, I have to make th uh, that go in. And the switch is down here, but we have to speak to Muller first, I think. Or do we? Let's see, do we have to? Don't breathe, yeah. and definitely don't move. You are in big trouble, whoever you are. Intruders don't last long in Strahov. Just answer my questions. Fine. First question, who are you? Second question, what are you and your buddies up to in here? You really don't know what the Cabal is. We are the beginning of a new order of life on Earth. Well, I've never heard of you. Ignorant mortal. The Cabal! We control everything here in Prague. It means that we are going to be immortal. And you are going to be dead, intruder. Immortal? That is impressive. How are you going to manage that? Meister Eckhart is about to return the Nephilim race to glory. For our part in that triumph, he will grant us immortality. If I had a coconut for every time some lunatic said something like that. Your pathetic ignorance blinds you. We already have the last vital element from Turkey here in Strahov. And that is? The only true remaining Nephilim. The Cubiculum Nephili, the sleeper. That's right. The last of the extinct race here in the Strahov. Surely the Nephilim are just a myth. You see, ignorance. With vital essences extracted from this precious specimen, Meister Eckhart can breed the next generation of pure Nephilim. No more abomination to run amok like Boaz's proto-Nephilim. She deserved to pay for her stupidity. Yes, highly inconvenient having abominations running around loose, isn't it? You have no idea what you are mocking. Again, on top of this, I want to be pressing the switch. Obviously, yeah, the button to pull the switch is the same as the button to trigger cutscenes, so I guess the cutscene was unavoidable. I mean, cutscenes can be skipped out, but obviously, I'm showing them because, well, because I just because it, it, it strikes me as being official, I guess, is the best thing to say. Not to mention that, um, obviously, the thing I do like about this game the most is probably the storyline. And by skipping out the cutscenes, you're kind of missing out on the storyline. So I'm kind of trying to keep in the best bits. Yeah, Mullo, I, I don't like him. I find him annoying. Um, I know... Some people do like him because he is involved in one of the more comical cutscenes, but I find him annoying. Now, I've not practiced, so I'm just going to have a brief look for any possible pickups. Nothing here. Yeah, in this level we have what looks like mut mutated plants. Uh, plants on steroids, perhaps. I think it's worse than that, even. And I almost got my head bitten off, did I? Yeah, well, let's hope that Lara doesn't have problems with hay fever, because if she did, then this would be the worst level ever. When you look at all the greenery and the plants and the insects and stuff. For somebody who has hay fever, this would be the worst level in the world. But I guess Lara's okay because she seems to be doing okay. Come 
come through to this bit where there's one enemy who can be killed but he's not mandatory and so you shouldn't kill him and it's very smart not to kill him because um, killing him causes loads of other enemies to trigger so it's a lot smarter not to kill him because that way you've only got one enemy and not like a dozen enemies or whatever I'll just come up here first because I know there's some ammo here. There's ammo on the other side as well, but um, that that's actually where we need to go in order to make progress. And so I thought I'd come here first, do the non-mandatory bits first. At the moment he's kind of in the way, which is a bit of a nuisance. Let's see, can we do this? Looks like we're okay. So yeah, so we have to, yeah, climb onto that and then come down here. I will be walking because if you fall here it's going to be very costly. I don't think it will kill you but it will certainly take out the majority of your health if it doesn't kill you. Yeah, I know this level has um, a couple mandatory kills um, because there's an area where there's three like key cards that we need. One of them I think you pick up and two of them I believe are dropped by enemies. Um, that's two mandatory kills off the top of my head. There might be more. But um, it seems most of the mandatory kills of this game are in the Prague section because there was only one in the whole of Paris. Yeah, I'm choosing to go back down this way because um, by doing this, you're preserving your health. Check, is there anything up here? Doesn't look like it. Well, you landed water, but that doesn't stop Lara from screaming, it seems. Obviously, the water stops you from losing health, that's the main, that's the most important thing. And now we need a well timed jump. I mean, either way, it doesn't matter if you go up the ladder or if you go into the water, they both lead you to where you need to go. They both lead you to the end of the, well, to the next part of the level. But there's an item if you get the ladder, and that's actually what we're aiming for.
Yeah, we're, 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 we're just doing this for the item. And when I get the item, I'm then actually going to go into the water. I'm only coming up here for the item. And I'm then going into the water because it kind of... When you're doing a no-kills run, it kind of makes this bit easier. Because there's a enemy... Uh, I'm not talking about the mutated fish thing. I'm talking about a human enemy who seems to give you more leeway or seems to completely unnotice you if you come this way. Whereas, oh, I'm, yeah, that thing's on me. Whereas if you go, if you continued up the ladder, it would have, um, um, the enemy always seems to notice you. There's a human enemy down there. Um, he may notice me, but um, yeah. Whenever I go, had I continued up the ladder and um, gone that way, the enemy always seems to notice me and then goes after me. But I went the water way. And for some reason, when I go that way, the enemy doesn't seem to notice me, or at least not always. So I went up the ladder just for the health pack and then went through the water to actually get here. You do have to be wary, though, of that mutated fish thing. Because you, because he, can't, he looks like that he's going to eat you, and there is a reason for that. The reason being, he does eat you. Or, well, or at least he damages you. Okay, well, he, he's, the guy's minding his own business, which is good from our perspective. That's what we want him to be doing. Yeah, there, there was um, a button that uh, needed to be pressed, but unfortunately um, you can do the level without pressing the button and I say fortunately because it's kind of in the direction of where the enemy is but unfortunately um, we can do this without pressing the button all we need to do is have a well-timed jump a bit like the well-timed jump that got me onto the ladder except this one is kind of harder and more crucial oh, I got it And that was stupid because that's just cost me health. <laughs> yes, and unfortunately, um mutated tree has decided that it doesn't want us to succeed and so it's decided to close the doors and deny us entry. Fortunately we can do something about it. I've not memorized how to do this bit but I believe it is quite straightforward. Are there any items here? Not in there. Or there. Okay, so there's bits of paper. What the one with the red cross? Which looking at that. Symbols do look quite similar, admittedly. 
believe it's this one. And this one. Maybe not. Right, maybe it's um, this one as well. Okay, let's have we got it that time. The top of it was missing, so I didn't see the other one. But, um, I managed to get it now, so that's the important thing. And you can see, it takes more than a tree to stop Lara. Now there's quite a few human enemies, and not all of them are mandatory, so the ones who are not mandatory are a bit of a problem, because they're going to be able to shoot at us, and we're not going to be able to return the favour because we're not allowed to kill them. So instead we have to be careful and try and get shot as little as possible. And that guy there was mandatory. And there's my first key card out of the three that I require in order to complete this level. Now one of them is just on the ground and one of them is dropped by a different guy. So one more mandatory kill it would seem. Won't be going that way yet. Yeah, that guy over there is going to be a problem because, well, we're, we're going to be going over there, and I'm sure it's no stretch to the imagination that he will shoot us if he gets the chance. And what we kind of want to do is there is a way in which you can make him see you while you're here. Hoping, hoping he's going to come over. Also, I'm, I'm, trying to, I'm trying to alert him because we actually, there is a way in which you can make him see you while you're here. And then he comes running down to the door and it actually results in him... Okay, he is, he is coming over. And it, actually, it actually results in him being less of a threat because he actually, when he does it, he, it sometimes result, results in him staying here. And so you can do the rest okay. Now I'm just going to hope that this is going to work out. That was dead close. Okay, that was dead close. I was dead lucky. I completely got my jump wrong, but then I was able to jump and just get in the right direction. So that was lucky. This ledge looks too far. Yeah, skip out. I want to be getting out of here. Okay, it looks like he did what I wanted him to do. Yeah, it looks like the guy stayed over there. My strength has increased. Maybe now I can make it across that.
Let's not speak too soon though. Where's he now? Is he still where he was? He's moved, hasn't he? Where is he? He's not over there. Oh, he's there. Well, I've managed to make it across anyway. If it's not broken, don't fix it. Okay, that worked out quite well, actually, because... Yeah, you saw that when I was uh, by that door, I tried luring him over, because if you don't, then when you go to where he is, he seems to go after you and shoot you, but then by luring him over to the door, it seems to make him go into stupid mode, where he just stands there, and, and so you can then go past without getting harmed and sometimes he stays there sometimes he doesn't uh, this time he didn't but he left me alone anyway so I managed to avoid him it seems which is quite fortunate There's chaos out there. I have the power in Kakar. Is this your doing, Miller? No. The power's down everywhere. Just control things in the dome, then. Do it. It's everything locked down. We don't want anything getting loose. It's under control, Master Eckhart. We have a problem down in the sanatorium. What problem, Boaz? Just have the guards deal with your inmates and pets. I have a confession, Master Eckhart. I didn't destroy the Proto-Nephilim! The Proto? You are kidding! Right, Boaz? I need to supervise this personally. That experiment was to be eradicated. I expressly ordered it. It's far too dangerous to keep alive. I couldn't! It's half Nephilim! That makes it impossible to cut your very up shard! You ignored my orders for the last time, Boaz. Mullah, I need the services of one of your little creations. Oh, please, no! It wasn't my fault! I'm loyal! Your own incompetence has sentenced you, Boaz. Give me a chance! What the fuck? I will be obeyed. Now sort this mess out. There's lessons to be learned. If you work for some evil supervillain, don't disobey him because he will feed you to a mutant. It does make me wonder why people work for villains if they normally end up getting killed for one reason or another. Anyway, there's the second mandatory item. And some ammo, it seems. I don't think I've saved in a while, and my health is pretty full, and I've come quite away, so let's be on the safe side here. Now, I'm hoping I can drop down without losing too much health. That's if I can get over, which I can. Okay, I don't think I lost health there. Now, where am I here? I don't think I want to be here. I don't want to be here either. Where am I? Am I? The beginning where that ladder was. There's going to be a guy somewhere. Is he further down still? A 
think I'm back on track. I think that's him over there. Basically, that was another big jump that I don't think you could have made otherwise. Um, I believe that is the other key card, so I believe that's the three cards I need and the two enemies that I need. Although I'm going to go up here because I'm curious as to where this leads to. And I'm being shot. Okay, maybe I shouldn't have been so curious. And I may have to reload now. that I will reload. I don't want to be using health packs unnecessarily um, and that could have been avoided I just went up there because I thought there may have been something up there. Maybe there was but it seems you get shot so I probably don't want to be going there. Instead maybe just get the key card and leave although I do know of some health items that I haven't obtained yet um, but I know where they are so moment let's just try and do this and that was a bad foul Okay, I can't even succeed at a basic jump, although it's not really a basic jump, but it's kind of stupid when you foul at it because you don't even press the jump button in time and you end up just falling off. Okay, well, I've got all the items that I need. Um, however, I'm going back up here because there's some health items that, I, that I'd like. So it might be a good idea to keep an eye on where that guy is. He, is he coming over? I don't really want him to because I, I'm sure he can probably shoot us while we're here. And I don't really want to be getting shot. Yeah, we slide down and then we um, see grab the ledge and then we shimmy across. It looks like bandages from here. It does cost a bit of health to fall. That's why I chose to restart when I um, when my health got brought down to like whatever it was because I thought I probably wouldn't survive this drop. Okay, well we've got the mandatory items, so now we just want to be um, heading out, I guess. Here we go. Well, I don't think we're quite done yet, though, because I think this is the bit where there's a few more items and you have to go to bits that cause your health to go down very slightly 
but we've got more than enough. It was only if I had a ridiculously low amount, which I did at one point, but I chose to reload because obviously when allowing for these bits, I thought that I might not be too lucky. But um, yeah, my health's fine. Yeah, this is it. We've got an air bar, but our health goes down as well. Now, there are there is some stuff around here somewhere, isn't there? Or is there? I don't know. Let's just go where we have to go. I thought there were some pickups up there. Maybe there are, but I'm not sure. But why, what I was mostly interested in is here, so I'm just going to do this bit. I'm not too bothered about what's where I was. Health pills, always welcome. I don't want to be going in that one again. Bandages, better still. I just want to get out of here as quickly as possible, really. Uh, my health isn't a problem, but obviously if we were to just do nothing and just stay still, then we would eventually get killed. So... Yeah. My sprint button seems to be stuck in. I can't seem to get it out. Looks like, we're, looks like we're good. You really have made a mess of things, haven't you? Who for? The stalker who stole my painting? What do you need with a painting? Maybe I'll explain later, Ms. Croft. But for now, I need to go and turn the power back. Leaving me here? You've caused enough problems over the last two days. Safer for everyone if you stay in one place for a while. You'll be okay in there. And this? My periap shard. You... Picked it up in the Louvre, yes. After you stole my painting. All this can wait. I know where you'll be. Take a breather from damaging things, why don't you? So yes, um, we're now at the sanitarium where we'll be playing as Curtis um, for this level and the next. And also Boaz returns, but that's not until a bit later. But that's the end of the level, so thank you everyone for watching and hope you enjoyed.